Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. Coming up on this week's episode, United Aviate Academy starts first class. Lufthansa's handover of Arizona School criticized. A youth soccer league, but with drones. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. United Aviate Academy starts first class. United Aviate Academy, the sole flight school owned and operated by a legacy domestic airline in the U.S., opened the first class in its Goodyear, Arizona location. The academy boasts 50,000 square feet of classroom space with on-site student dormitory housing and the best flight training weather in the world. The initiative is a big part of the airline's efforts to replenish stocks of retiring pilots with 10,000 fresh additions by 2030, with at least half of those coming from the academy. While the numbers are daunting, United has set a goal to ensure less than 50% of their new pilots are the traditionally European-descended males associated with the career. The opening class passed their goal by a fair margin, says United, which, quote, welcomed a historic inaugural class of future pilots, 80% of whom are women or people of color, end quote. Their selection of students bodes well for their goals going forward, proving the efficacy of their marketing blitz at filling seats. The announcement of their new classes throughout the media landscape reportedly brought thousands of applicants. Coming up after the break, Diamond Dart changes engines. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Diamond Dart changes engines. Diamond Aircraft's Dart program has seen a few changes, replacing its power plant with a PT6A 25C turboprop engine sourced from Pratt & Whitney, Canada. The change removes the original engine for the program, General Electric's 550 horsepower H75A turboprop. The move to the venerable PT6 is said to be necessary to meet program deadlines, with the DART expected to be EASA certified by the end of 2023. The DART will be an all-composite aerobatic turboprop trainer in tandem seat configuration, offering an advanced pilot training program. FAA and UK Analog agree to carry over simulator certification. The FAA and its British analog, the United Kingdom Civil Aviation Authority, have come together and finalized an agreement that will allow the two countries to share the results of each other's evaluation and acceptance of flight simulators. The change will allow the simplification of a united, streamlined regulatory landscape for increasingly important flight training equipment. LaunchTech LLC offers scholarship for Space Camp. LaunchTech LLC has announced the issuance of an educational program a bit outside of the norm that sees young, underrepresented groups of interested teens attend space camp. The company says its scholarship efforts assist in bringing more women to their industry and assisting with military, government, and corporate IT and software. Launching Scholars is a program that aims to provide opportunities and scholarships for girls 15 to 18 who have an interest in technology, aviation, and aerospace. 2022 Brooke Owens Fellows Announced the newest batch of Brooke Owens Fellows has been announced, adding 51 new additions to the fold of 198 previous alumni. The fellowship aims to bring valuable career-building opportunities to women in aviation by matching students to specific intern positions at one of the fellowship's industry partners. Once there, the fellow receives two senior or executive-level mentors, one at their host company and one somewhere else in the industry. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Lufthansa's handover of Arizona School criticized. 
The head of Germany's largest pilot union, the Vereinigung Cockpit, has described Lufthansa's handover of its Phoenix flight training location to the state of Arizona as, quote, absolutely incomprehensible, end quote. Stefan Hirth said handing off its own pilot education services will prove to be a gross strategic error in the long run. Arizona's arid desert climate has made it a global holy city of aviation since World War II, with the central Phoenix metropolitan area containing a series of airports that got their start largely due to the tremendous need for allied pilots all over the world. Arizona boasts nearly continuous sunny days and relatively benign wind conditions, as well as an accommodating local flight culture that accepts the constant presence of light aircraft on their daily business. Lufthansa was an outlier in the region, known for being a sort of premium training provider with its own private airfield replete with a coveted ILS approach close to outsiders. Hearth finds the decision foolish in the long term, saying that Lufthansa's concession of its flight training interest due to restructuring makes little sense economically. After these messages, a youth soccer league, but with drones. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. A youth soccer league, but with drones. U.S. drone soccer has recently been recognized as an Academy of Model Aeronautics Special Interest Group. This SIG geared toward youth education and activity, beginning with the initial tournaments in Colorado, New York, and Ohio. The league is hoped to bring youth into the world of aerospace, STEM, and model aeronautics. Drone soccer is played by teams of equal size, from 3 vs. 3 to 5 vs. 5. Each match consists of a designated striker attempting to make their way through the opposing team's goal, with their fellow drones attempting to run interference and block their opponents in the full contact drone sport. The small, lightweight, spherically caged drones give students ample opportunity to build, maintain, design, and operate their drones. Students who compete during the academic year must first learn how to build, program, and repair their drones as a team. In order to participate in the U.S. Drone Soccer League, students must be enrolled as AMA members and agree to follow the organization's safety code, complete a short educational course about responsible aviation, and undergo drone soccer training. The virtual AMA course teaches the basics of drone safety as well as related topics from the FAA Recreational UAS Safety Test. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.